I think smart people and cool people have bent thumbs. Don't be offended if you have a straight thumb. <laughs> And today I'm going to talk about something that all of us deal with, and that is self-doubt. All of us deal with self-doubt. You know when you're trying to start something new or um, you, you really have a goal in mind, but doubt just takes over. It's all in our minds. And today I want to really help you get through that doubt so that you can really go after what it is that you want. This is the thing. You've got to deal with your doubt if you want to move on. I speak with women all the time who are ready to make a change, maybe in their health and fitness, maybe in their lives, maybe in their business lives. And the first thing that comes out of their mouths is, can I do this? I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I have what you have. I don't know if I have what she has. I'm really scared and that is normal. But what I want you to do, I heard this from someone that I, I listened to this awesome podcast and she says, what I want you to do is doubt your doubt. That doubt has no power over you. You just need to overcome it and say, you know what doubt, I will see you later. Can you do that? Can you like give the hand the, to the word doubt and those doubts that creep up in your head? I really want you to do that because what doubt says is it tries to tell us we are not good enough. It tries to tell us that what we want isn't possible, but it is. So I really want to help you with this because doubt literally is all just thoughts in our head about ourselves. And so I'm going to give you some ways that you can really start to overcome that self-doubt so that you could be a more confident person and really go and make things happen in your life. Okay, the first way to overcome that self-doubt is to write a list of positive things that you feel about yourself. You've got to work on your confidence because when you work on who you are and how you feel about yourself, all of those negative thoughts that come in, you're gonna be like, that's not true. That, that's, that's not really how I feel about myself. So for me, I sometimes have to do like a affirmation thing, like a brain switching thing. So if I start to feel like, oh, I'm fat, Okay, we all say that, right? Or I'm, I'm not strong, or I'm not pretty enough, or I'm not smart enough. When all of those little doubts come in, when I'm trying to do something, I'm like, no, I am strong, I am confident, I am beautiful. I mean, you have to. You have to kind of trick your brain because all that self-doubt's just trying to keep you from everything that you wanna do. So believe in yourself. Number two is expose your self-doubts. Expose those doubts so that you can see them for what they are. They're just thoughts. They're not real. So. It's really good to keep a journal. I am, I'm huge on keeping a journal to like put down my thoughts because it's really good to just let it out or else it just plays games up in your head. So when you expose those doubts, meaning if something comes in and starts to tell you, you know, you're not good enough. She can do that, but you can't. You're like, no, actually I can, brain, <laughs> thoughts. I really can do this. I have what it takes. I just need to do it. Expose them. Another way to deal with self-doubt is to really trick your mind. So you might have like subconscious thoughts going through your mind all the time. Seriously, they're always flooding our thoughts. And so if something in your head is always saying like, you know, you, you aren't successful, you can't do this, be like, stop it, flip it and be, I am successful, I am smart. I've said this again, but it's really a trick in your brain. So whatever thoughts are going on that are negative and not serving you, you need to trick it and go the opposite direction. Can you do that? All right, and this one's huge. I want you to own what you want in your life. I want you to own those thoughts that are coming through as self-doubt and be like, okay, that's not happening anymore. I'm going to change it. I'm going to do the opposite because you need to ask yourself, do I wanna keep having reruns happen in my life? You need to change it, turn that off, turn those reruns off and say, I have a new episode. I have a whole new season starting of my life and I am going to have awesome confidence and I am going to believe in myself no matter what tries to creep into my head, no matter what I think other people are thinking of me, no matter what obstacles come in my way, I'm going to knock them down, I'm going to ignore them and I am going to do what I wanna do and feel amazing and reach those goals that have been haven't been possible because self-doubt has been beating me. Self-doubt has been beating me down and self-doubt has been holding me back. Stop it. Doubt your doubt. I love that so much. Doubt your doubt and go and be that confident, beautiful, amazing person that you are believing that you have what it takes to reach whatever goal that you set out, whether it is 
losing weight, getting healthy, having an awesome job, going and just whatever it is. You, it, the possibilities are endless, but you need to doubt that doubt and then move on and just go for it.